Hello everyone, this is how next here. Today I'm show you guys how you can set up any version of Windows 10 on a virtual machine on Windows. And in this video, any version of Windows 10 will work, whether if it's the latest version you want or if it's a previous version. Now, the software you're going to be using to host the virtual machine's VirtualBox. I recommend VirtualBox because it's open source, so it means it's completely free. So you can go ahead and click download VirtualBox. And where it says right here, you want to choose Windows. Now, when it's done downloading, it's going to show in your downloads folder or wherever you saved it. So you want to go ahead and open it up, leave everything as it is. You want to go next and leave everything here as it is. And where it says this, you want to click yes. This may interrupt your network. So if you're downloading a file, it will actually cancel it. So make sure you're prepared when you hit yes to so click yes and go ahead and click install. If you get any pop-up that says like you want to install it, like click install, it doesn't show for me. But once you see it finish, you want to go ahead and tick that and click finish. And then now the next thing we're going to do is that we're going to download the Windows 10 ISO file so that we can host the virtual machine. Now, there are many ways you can do this. The first way is that you can download the media creation tool from the official Microsoft website. This will create the Windows 10 ISO file and the ISO file this media tool will use will create the latest version of Windows 10 so if you want to use an earlier build of Windows 10 then you shouldn't use the media creation tool but anyways if you want to use it you're just going to go ahead and download it open it up which I've got right here and by the way if you're not going to use the media creation tool and you're going to install like a different version of Windows like build 1909 or earlier then skip to the designated timestamp up right now and you should be good to go now when you see this you're going to click accept make sure you accept the terms all right so once you see this this is a very important step you want to choose the other option where it says create installation media now don't get fooled by the another pc part it's really just only for the virtual machine but you just want to choose this option right here and click next and you can go ahead and untick this if you want, but most of the time it should be correct. But if you're using a 64 bit, then it should be defaulting to whatever architecture you're using. Click next. And this is a very important step again. Make sure you choose ISO file, as we'll need to use this to host the virtual machine. Now you wanna click next. And now you're gonna to wanna to save it, the ISO file to wherever you want. So I'm gonna save it to my desktop. And as you can see, it will start preparing it so as you can see it's going to download so you need a strong internet connection and this can take a moment so i'll be back to you guys when this is done now if you're with the second option that you want to use a different version of windows then this is the method the website we're going to be using to download these iso files is get my os it's a trusted website and i often use it to download iso files and the best part about this is that you can download custom versions of windows Depending on what build version of Windows you want, you're going to want to type in the number. So if you want build 1507, then you're going to type in 1507, which is the one I'm going to use for this video tutorial. You want to go ahead and click to close and continue. When you're here, you want to go ahead and click the download button and you want to choose whatever version you want. I'm going to go with the 64 bit home pro option. If you're going to choose enterprise or a different option, then you can scroll down and it'll have it. But for most of us, we're going to go with this one. Now you want to go ahead and click download. And this is a important step. You want to go ahead and click allow access to your Google Drive account. This is completely safe guys. I've been using this for a while, so you shouldn't have any problems. So you want to go ahead and allow and choose any of your Google accounts. Make sure that has at least four gigs of space if your google drive account does not have enough space to hold these iso files to download them then i'll put all these links in the description below so you can download them as a google drive link but anyways you're going to choose whatever account you want i'm going to choose this one and it should say hello and whatever your name is don't worry it's just that it's your google account and now if it asks you to allow like access to your google account just click yes and allow and you should be brought here you want to go ahead and click download file and now you should be brought to this page. Download anyway. And as you can see, we're going to save it wherever you want. And it's going to start downloading. So this can take a moment depending on your internet speed. But it will eventually be done. And for me, it's going to take a while. 
So I'll be back to you guys when this is done as well. Either way, once the file is done downloading, you should finally see an ISO file on your desktop or wherever you have saved the ISO file. I renamed mine to Windows because I feel like it's a lot easier that way. And now it is time to open up VirtualBox instead of the virtual machine. So you want to go ahead and open up that. Now once you see the screen, you want to go ahead and click on new. Now right here you should see your folder and your version of Windows. And you're going to go ahead and type in Windows 10. And it should default to Windows 10 64-bit. And if you're using a 32-bit, then you choose 32-bit, but we're using 64-bit. Now for the memory, you're going to want to choose from around a quarter of your memory to a half. Now since I'm recording this video with a screen recorder software, I'm going to leave it at 2 gigs, which is a quarter of my total memory. Now you want to go ahead and click next and choose this option, create. Now for this, leave it as it is, click next. Dynamically allocated, choose that. Next, I recommend not going below 40 gigabytes. Now you want to go ahead and click create. And then now you should see this. You want to go ahead and click on settings. Now starting off, we're going to go to the system tab and for processors. Now I recommend not exceeding over half of your total processors. But if you have eight, then don't go over four like me. And for the display, you're going to go here. And now it's important that you enable 3D acceleration so you can have more video memory. So you want to go ahead and max that out. And that's pretty much it on OK. Now click start. And it's going to go ahead and start your virtual machine. Now you're going to see this startup disk notification. You're going to go ahead and click on this folder. Now go to add. And now you're going to want to browse for your ISO file that you just created from before. And like I said before, it was windows.iso. We just named it that way. And you want to click open. And now you're going to want to go ahead and click choose. And click start. And as you can see, it's going to start the virtual machine and you should see a Windows logo if you have done all the steps correctly. And if you have any questions or something happens, then you can let me know that down in the comments below. It's taking a while to load up, but now you should see the Windows installation. You, you want to just click install now and it will just start installing Windows. So that's pretty much it. Hope you all found this helpful. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like down below. Consider subscribing if you're new to the channel. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you all in my next video.